Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. In this case, we're reviewing the Casio ProTrek Triple Sensor Tough Solar PRG 250T. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the. It's a bit of a mouthful, but that's the actual name of of this watch. The ProTrek, this one that you see right now, is one of the latest incarnations of the Triple Sensor series. There's other models as well with some variations. Uh, some made of uh, black plastic and have the, the the rubber wristband and such. This one being the 250T is a titanium model and because of that it has a titanium wristband that you see right here. These are all solid titanium links. Nice construction, very solid. And you can even adjust these by pushing these little arrows that you see here. There's a pin in there, you just push it and adjust it to your, your actual wrist. It's very comfortable. It has these inserts as well, stainless back plate, closes there and with an extra clasp over here with ProTrek engraved. Now I've seen it described as having a titanium wristband and case. Truth be told there is some metal around here that may as well be titanium but the rest of it this is all resin. Well done because the coloration is quite similar to the titanium wristband but it is res resin nonetheless. Now the this is uh, just one of the models the 250T PRG. There's also a PRW, which is, I believe, the latest model. It is the exact same watch, the PRW 2500, is the exact same watch, but it has a, a atomic timekeeping. That means that every night through radio frequency it adjusts to the right time, which is a nice feature, and the price difference is really not significant. This is a watch that is not cheap. You're talking about 300 350 bucks give or take uh, you may find it for a little bit less than that but generally speaking is it is not exactly a cheap watch but you do get lots of things in it so let's uh, let's mention some of them besides the good construction I just like the titanium bracelet better because in my experience the rubber wristbands uh, they've always broken on me I know I don't know why I've lost a couple of watches that way uh, sooner or later maybe it dries up or, or something it, it ends up breaking so whenever possible I like metal wristbands titanium being as light as it, as it is uh, even better it's also tough solar, that means that all this that you see around here, that's all a solar panel and it's taking the energy from the sun, has a battery where it keeps that, uh, that power and it can run for 11 months without any, any sunlight or any other uh, light source. So, you know, it's a, a, nice, a nice concept, um, I mean, good construction, very, very tough, very solid and also not needing batteries, that's, that's the kind of combination that I do like. Being a triple sensor, you have the compass, you have the barometer, and the altimeter. Let's try the, the compass. It has a dual display, as you see there, showing the north, which is pretty accurate in, in my estimations. I've compared it with other compasses, and it is very accurate. You can adjust it with, with a, another compass as you prefer, or if you don't find it to be as accurate, you can do that on your own as well. When you try going back to home here, using the barometer takes a few seconds 28.3 degrees centigrade that's because it's in my wrist and because of my body temperature it's not getting that accurate readings if for having correct temperature readings you need to leave it hanging on your backpack maybe for a few minutes until it cools down also showing you the pressure atmospheric pressure of 992 and it also has that information displayed here in this little graphic. Each of these little dots represents uh, the measures of barometric pressure within a, a time of two hours. So this would be almost like yeah, about 10 hours of 10 hours of a uh, barometric pressure readings and it's showing a tendency of going down. More on that a little bit later when I'm done showing the rest. You also have the altimeter 
Miltimeter, again a couple of seconds, 260 meters above sea level. This, I found out that it wasn't as accurate. I had to uh, calibrate that on my own, went down to, to the sea <laughs> there where, where the waves were crushing and it took my own zero, so I had to have my own, my own readings. Because of the changes in, in barometric pressure and temperature, it does need calibration somewhat often. So, I have a good reference point to keep that in mind and whenever you see that it's going off, just uh, adjust it again. Now if you go back to the home page, uh, besides that you do have a backlight in case you need to see in the dark of course and it also has all this stuff you can expect from these watches you know that like the world time stop watches alarms all that stuff it also uh, saves some of those readings of, of the altitude and such so it, it is pretty complete in the home screen it, where we are now you have um, also a, a graphic showing you the the sea tides level right now is but on the top you also have a moon graphic dis uh, displaying the moon cycles where we are right now and it's always displaying this graphic of the barometric pressure this is pretty neat because if you know the barometric pressure tendency right now is as you see it's going down that means that the weather is going to be getting a bit worse right last night uh, when when i saw it going down i knew that we would have rain and in fact that's what happened following day we had rain uh, if it's uh, going up on the other hand if it's going up weather's going to be getting better so it's uh, likely to have maybe more sunny and it stops raining and such it is pretty pretty accurate uh, so far i'm very happy with the results if you see a steep decline in this graphic it's probably even a storm coming your way so it's nice it's a nice function that i found myself uh, checking out very often and and since you don't have to uh, press any buttons, you just look at, at the main screen, at the, the, home, the home screen, that's uh, always displaying, along of course with your time. So good idea. I did want one of these watches for, for some time now. I wanted one when I was in Argentina, but honestly, because uh, of how dangerous it was back there, just couldn't justify, especially an expensive watch <laughs> that would be uh, attracting the wrong kind of uh, attention. <laughs> now, when I came here, because of, especially because of the weather, I used to use the sun as reference, knowing where my north is all the time and such. Because of the cloudy weather, I have kind of lost uh, in many days that reference point and I like having a compass now uh, because of the, the weather changing so much here in Ireland it's also nice to have an idea of what the weather is going to be looking like uh, thanks to that little graphic that I have here because I'm also close to the sea I just enjoy having an idea of, of the tides and such so all in all a very complete watch and um, yeah and indeed I would recommend it someone that wants one of these watches by all means it's a, it's a great watch looks well looks good too which doesn't hurt at all uh, the price, uh, 300 bucks, give or take, yeah, you know, it, it is expensive, there are others that are more expensive, I suppose. Uh, it's not as accurate, for example, as the Sunto Core, I, have a, a, I bought one for a friend of mine, that is a bit more, more precise in its readings, but at the same time it is more fragile by all means, it's not as rugged as one of these, and it also requires to change the batteries pretty often, which is a problem that you just don't have because of the solar uh, panel that you have here. So all those things considered, I think it's a, a, a very good watch. The only thing that I don't like that much is that um, this um, the, this uh, uh, bezel here, it does not click into position. So it's just a tad too uh, loose for my taste. Not too bad, but just, just one of the little things that I would criticize from this watch. Besides that, excellent watch, and yeah, I do recommend it for you guys. Take care folks, uh, consider subscribing if you're liking these videos and uh, have a good day. See you on our next video.